Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I heart Aries, my name is Chelsea, and this is a channel where we do all Aries readings. And today I'm gonna to be doing who is coming towards you. Now I was gonna do the daily, but Spirit told me do who's coming towards you in place, why are you looking at me like that? In place of um, the daily, okay? All right, Pugsley, do you want some attention? Come here, they haven't seen you in a while, come here. So we are staring at me doing the how to thing over and over again while I'm trying to talk. So, all right, let's start. All right, Holy Spirit, Spirit has an angel. So please allow me to look for a message here for the Aries Collective. Please see, let's take a look and see who is coming towards Aries. Who is coming towards it? Ooh, okay. There's a marriage. Okay, let's see here. <clears throat> Aries, for the last month or so, you guys have been getting a lot of cards about marriage or relationship, distant horizons. Okay. Let's give us one more here from the Kipper. Okay. Look, I was thinking, I was like, I know that false person going to pop up, right? Fuck something up because the pop the, that that false person stayed here. But that's how it came out. What came out was the lovers fell on the table. But look what's at the bottom of the deck. The false person. There is always someone lurking on you guys, Aries. Always, 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 always. Maybe you don't even know. All right. Some of you may not even know. People be watching you. The false person and thief. Never too far behind. Despair. You know. Did somebody miss a chance? But Aries, look at this. This is beautiful. You got marriage. You got marriage, distant horizons, and the lovers. What? Okay. What? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, you know, there is a situation that is unfolding because distant horizons, it could be at a long distance away from you. Or this distant horizons could also be talking about time. Okay, like something has not formulated yet, has not manifested yet, but in the distant, in the future, it is coming about. And I have, I switched these, but okay, lovers and the marriage card. Okay, so there is some sort of union. If it's, I was going to say if it's not romantic, but lovers, and I think Spirit knew I was going to say that. So the lovers card did come out. This is definitely romantic. Okay, this is definitely romantic. So, okay. All right, let's, let's take a look at this energy. <laughs> let's take a look at this energy here and see who's coming towards Aries. All right, Spirit, Holy Spirit, Spirit, guys and angels, please allow me to have a clear message here for Aries. Tell us who is coming towards Aries. Tell us, uh, give us an indication of who this is first and how Aries would know them or if they know them. This is a new person. What's the deal? What's the deal? Thank you so much, spirits, guides, angels, and ancestors. There is protection and clarity. Thank you. All right. All right. So who's coming towards Aries? We got the nine of wands. We got the page of pentacles. And we got the eight of wands. All right. So Aries, nine of wands, page of pentacles, eight of wands. Someone here is coming towards you very quickly, very passionately here to give you a romantic offer. Now, Aries, I got to tell you, this person looks like someone that you have history with. Nine of wands here is an energy of someone here who has been through a freaking lot, okay? Um, this is the wounded warrior card, okay? Somebody here who is not giving up. They are not giving up. They may have put you through a lot. You guys have may have been through a lot together. There may have been a lot of pain, struggle, strife, all of that toxicity. And then they're coming in with an offer, with the page of pentacles here. This is a, some sort of communication. This seems like, it, it, page of pentacles is usually good news, okay? But in this situation, it looks like, not that it's necessarily bad, but it, they're coming in with some sort of peace offering. Okay, an apology could be something tangible. Okay, um, if it's a ring, it may be a, a smaller one. Okay, I was in my head and I was like, Spirit was like, just say it, just say it. I could be kind of shady sometimes, but if it is a ring, you know what I'm saying, it may be a smaller one, and I say that because. 
It's not that it matters about the size of the ring. It is about that the, the nine of wands here shows that the apology doesn't match the misconduct is the best way to say it, okay? The apology doesn't match the misconduct. With the nine of wands here, it's hell. Someone has put someone through hell. And they're coming back in with this. I mean, and I'm just saying it's a ring, okay? It may not be a ring from this person, but let's just say it is. The page of pentacles is usually something tangible. It could be communication. It's a message. Let's just say it is a ring. It's a very, very little, little ring, okay? And I'm saying, okay, yeah, it doesn't matter. But it, it really doesn't. But it's like this person is kind of like, let me show you. They're coming in and they're like, Hey, I just got, and I got you this, you know, you know, I've always wanted to, you know, marry you and tie the knot with you. And, you know, here you go. I've, I've, I got this for you. And you're like, you mean you didn't put me through years of fucking hell and this is what you come to me with? You know what I'm saying? And expected me to be like, okay, yes. Oh my God. Yes. You know, it, it's just, it's not necessarily about the ring. It's just the effort that this person is going to put in with picking anything out, if it is a ring, or the apology that they're going to give you, okay? And with the eight of wands here, they're coming in in such a way where it's almost like, you have to take this, you have to accept this because it's coming from me, you know? It's just a very kind of like all over you type of energy, okay? So let's see here. Tell us more about the situation, Spirit. We have the Two of Wands. We have the Five of Cups and the Nine of Cups. Okay. I'm going to just tell you this. This person chose someone else before they came back to you. Okay. Two of Wands here. There was an option before they came back to you. Whatever happened, it didn't work out with the Five of Cups. And now they're realizing that you were the person that they wanted all along, the nine of cups. I know you guys, you know, don't want to hear that message. Just click off, click off, all right? I see your comments every single day. I don't care about the past. It's fine. Somebody needs the message, okay? Um, but they had a choice and they made the wrong choice. It's plain and simple. They made the wrong choice. They got a boo-boo. They got an ouchie here with whoever they chose, right? They're in despair, Five of Cups energy here. They know they did wrong. They're waving the flag, right? I surrender. This flag is to the divine. The divine may have been putting an ass whooping on them from with karma, right? Because however they left you or did you, the Nine of Wands energy is pretty treacherous, right? So they left you, went upon the way, and now they have the Nine of Cups here. And they're like, hey, I'm back and I want you, right? And you should want me too, is the kind of energy. I'm getting very kind of like selfish type of energy. Now let's see here. What's coming in here? Yeah, judgment in reverse. Judgment in reverse. Not only are they coming back, but I feel like they also have not learned their lessons. Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck, that is the truth. They also have not learned their lessons. All right, so let's see here. What is this person's future acts, actions with Aries? Well, yeah, I mean, that's plain as day. We see that, right? Seven of Pentacles here and the Hierophant. There's the marriage card. Age of Cups here. They are definitely Aries. If you're in still childbearing age, they're definitely wanting to have children with you. Um, but they're also wanting to come back and invest in this connection. Now, the Hierophant is here. This is talks about spiritual growth and spiritual lessons, as well as institutions here. In this instance, it does seem like a relationship that they're wanting to invest in with you. Again, I'm going to tell you this, another page has showed up. Now, this also could be a child, a young child, or they you could already have children with this person, or they may want to have children with you, but it's also a message, okay? It's also a message, and this message is kind of still a little bitty, bitty small, you know, it's it's still, it's an emotional message, um, whereas they may have or should have this big outpouring, right, apology or whatever with the Nine of Wands energy again, but it's still very small, okay? And the Seven of Pentacles, although it is a good card of investing in something and then seeing the rewards and the benefits here, it is it is time. So it's like, it's almost like somebody's wasted your time in the past. 
and they're coming in and they're telling you they want to have this long-term commitment with you and they want to marry you, but I want to wait about five years or I just want to wait until, you know, I get myself together and, you know, da, 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 da. And, and you know what I'm saying? It's still more time wasted, whoever's coming in. It's still more time wasted. All right, let's see here. What is the outcome here with Aries and this particular person? I'm getting that there is a choice, Aries. Let's see here. And it may be another choice as well for you. Let me see here. And the tower. Oh, tell me about the tower. <laughs> Aries. Let's just say, let's just say that this person comes in and you do give them another chance, right? And because you miss them and you love them, it's all going to happen all over again. Everything that they did to you before is going to happen again. It is literally a waste of time. It would be a waste of time, okay? If you did that, if you did that, okay? We have the hangman here. We have the Knight of Cups in reverse. We have the Tower. We have the Three of Wands and the Ten of Swords. It literally would be probably the same pain times 10 for you all over again if you decided to take this person back, okay? Um, because Spirit was like, did you learn your lesson? Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Think about this, right? Take a look at the situation at every angle. Yes, you're listening to your heart. And that may be the only thing you're listening to. Are you listening to logic? Are you listening to, you know, the previous time or looking back at, at previous experiences? Are you doing anything, anything that would kind of result in you dodging this bullet? Okay. Knight of Cups here is someone here who love bombs. Okay. Love bombs. They're coming in. They're doing and saying anything they have to say to get you where they want you. And they're dipping again. But this person here is, is very like, I don't want to say emotionally unhinged, but very, it's very selfish, self-serving type of energy with the Knight of Cups in reverse. And then we have the tower kaput. It all goes down the drain again. All right. Knight, uh, the tower here, and then the three of wands. It's almost like with the, I said, clarify the tower, and I got the three of wands and the ten of swords. So literally, right, literally, because, and I feel like this could be somebody who doesn't really look at what this person did in the past, and they just say, okay, come back in, right? And this person has another opportunity to do what they did to you again. They turn away, three of wands, and they look for greener grass. And that ends into another devastating ending, okay? It literally, you know what? Sometimes it's not that, and this is a, always a lesson for you, Aries, but sometimes it really is a situation where it's a, it's a karmic situation where somebody's karma is always to make the wrong choice. Why? Because they don't deserve you. It really doesn't have anything to do with you other than you not waking up and realizing that this person doesn't deserve you. So what happens is your universe, your spirit guides, your angels, ancestors makes this person hurt you. They literally make a person do the wrong thing and hurt you. And it is not to hurt you, but to make you learn that, hey, you're not supposed to be with this person. So until you get it through your head that you are not supposed to engage with this person, we're going to continue to make this person hurt you. We're going to continue to make this person misuse you and not see your value and worth. Because look, if this person could truly see your value and worth, they would never let you go. And guess what? They're still not going to be able to treat you right. They're not worthy of you. If somebody is not worthy of you, they're never going to have the blueprint for you, okay? Your divine counterpart is going to come in and they're going to know exactly how to treat you. They're going to know exactly what to do with you, how to love you, right? How to pour into you. It's just the blueprint is already there in the hard drive, already there, okay? And the person who's not supposed to be with you is always going to be like, oh my God, like, oh my goodness, does this go here? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Okay, done. I'm just going to throw them away and just go be with this karmic over here. Even though I have a divine feminine or masculine, I'm going to mistreat them. And I'm just going to go over here with this shiny thing that looks like cubic zirconium, but it's okay because I'm just going to take it because I know what to do with that. You know, it's, they're always going to mistreat the diamond. Okay. Because they're not supposed to have it. All right. So 
that's the message there, Aries. I'm going to do another one of these, okay? Um, I'm going to leave this for this because this is a very strong message. And we'll see if this doesn't resonate for some. It may resonate for most. We'll do another one and see who's coming towards you, okay? So that's what I have for you guys. Take care. Uh -huh.